Looks like somebody had an old ship's wheel lying around and just threw it up on the wall. You hear the phrase, threw it up on the wall, a lot around here. Ever since Girl Stinky took over the kitchen, Stinky's signature pies have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. Old people still haven't cleared away all those old mime sweeper cartridges. Hmm, wonder what's in here. Don't open it, Sam! It probably leads to a fantastic land of wonder and thinly disguised religious allegory! Good call, Max. We already wasted enough time poking around that toll booth. This thing does science so hard, you say, I've never seen that much science, and it's all, check this out, and then, boom, more science. No way! I didn't think they'd come out with the XKJS3 model yet. This baby is eight times as fast and has 18 USB slots. What does it do? No idea. Are these psychic powers dangerous for Max at all? Well, probably not, if he's careful and only uses them responsibly. And what if it's Max? Well, he'll overwork his brain so much that it catches fire and explodes. Oh, I have got to see that! You can't see that, Max. Your brain will catch fire and explode. Well, that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. Duh! Will you do me the honor Scram. of... Scram! Jeez, buddy, you could have at least let me down easy. Nah. Future vision. It's locked, broken, and doesn't go anywhere we want to go. Just like our social life. What's that toy box got to do with Max? He must be blessed with the gift! It will bestow great power to the one who can use its contents! Oh, and don't forget about the apocalypse! You guys seem awfully chipper about the end times. It's just nice to be proven right for once. Yeah, suck on that, Barry Diggory! Who's wearing a stupid-looking robe now? I'm tired of trying to read this thing. I'll wait for the movie. It's empty. Why use a trash can when the pavement will do? No, it sounds like they're planning a big gang-related shootout or illegal organ trade in there. I don't want to bother them. This half-eaten bagel nut is actually made of pork, red dye, and children's glue. Ooh, unhealthy and unkosher. Let's see what's in Grandpa Stinky's mysterious demon broth. Celery, chicken stock, carrots. Boring! Finely ground cherub bones? Minced albino buffalo tongues? What is this, a demon broth or a kindergarten potluck? Where's the evil? Ah, here we go. 2% aspartame. The fiend! 90% dried out protein, 1% water, 0% electrical activity. His synapses will never fire up with those ratios. Maybe he should run for Congress. The ticket taker really should have honored our free passes. It took us so long to make them! Beard of snowy white, nose like a cherry. Haven't we met somewhere before? Fat chance! I don't make a habit of frequenting the greasy dives in this low-rent neighborhood. But no doubt you've seen my mug splashed across the front page of your morning paper. Nicholas St. Kringle to spearhead Bobbles for Bratz charity drive. Nicholas St. Kringle named Philanthropist of the Millennium. Nicholas St. Kringle photographed in Love Nest with team of Swedish figure skaters. <laughs> Toy stores close for the day, gentlemen. To use, anyhow.
We've got a toy idea that'll knock your stripy socks off. Lay it on us! If it's as good as you say, we'll happily hand this can of nuts over to you. Point-and-click adventure games. You gotta be kidding. It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. Genuine snowballs, hand-carved by immigrant elves. I love that this is a city of immigrants. It's so much easier to get along with people when they can't understand what I'm saying. Game budget. Oh, hey, Mr. K. Oh, where does a plutocrat go to get a little peace? We're here to gape at the depressing squalor of your miserable ghetto and congratulate ourselves on our comparative good breeding. Oh, knock yourselves out. It's a glass. Made of glass. I'm not leaving till the background stops moving. How many elves you got in there? At last count, 153.5. Point 0.5? Gary the third level paladin is only half elf. Toys aren't just for kids anymore. I predict that by the 21st century, grown men will keep toys in their office cubicles. Yeah, well this is a 20th century toy and it requires a 20th century kid to test it. Oh, pardon me. Those beans from the dining car just caught up with me. My name is Samet, by the way. Oh, whoops, there he goes again. Quit it, Maximus. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. Nope, not there. Nice caboose. Bright side. Surely the mole girl will leave you alone now you're a vampire. You clearly know nothing about the teenage girls. She thinks I am even more tragically sexy than before. Oh. Tough break. No point in that. Becoming a cow has put me in touch with my feminine side, Samet. That's nice, little buddy. Do you realize you've just offended your entire female fan base? Both of them? The booming and or bamming sound and, uh, well, that's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Rule number two, timing is everything. When you hear the suspect lying, that's when you jump in and accuse him. Yup, I was totally unconscious the whole time. 
I certainly didn't see anything interesting, no sir. Now all I can see is his blank, brainless body staring at me, asking me, why? Okay, you've obviously got some issues to sort out, and we've got an apocalypse to prepare for, so can we go now? What happened to Max? Talk! We, we don't know! One second we were guarding the devil's toy box, then BAM! Out went the lights! Actually, It's too bad they aren't green. I hear those are the friendly ones. It says it's an information desk, but I feel dumber just looking at it. Ooh, pointy and dangerous. Two of my favorite things. Ancient Egyptian brain screw. The engravings on this particular brain screw indicate that it was reserved for pharaohs, viziers, or other high-ranking muckety-mucks. Muckety-mucks? The museum's copywriter must have thought no one would read that far. If you're going to putrefy and decompose, you might as well do it in style. Humanity has long pondered about the eventual fate of the Earth. Today, thanks to sophisticated supercomputers, scientists have determined that the world will end in the year 2015, as giant monsters, environmental disasters, and political apathy combine to turn our world into an unlivable hellhole shortly before the sun unexpectedly goes nova. Yeah, yeah, boss. Very informative. Anything else, boss? Hey, Sam! From this angle, you can see my great big honking... Zip it, little buddy. Mista card, the last more or less honest credit card. Normally I'd be leery of a pizza franchise expanding into the credit market, but if their loan rates are as stingy as their toppings, then sign me up! What the heck is going on with our office? Oh, we got kicked out of it last week when Sam and Mac requisitioned it to make way for a new statue commemorating his new high score on Minesweeper. Where do we work now? Mostly out of the DeSoto. You know, I hadn't really thought about it until we were kicked out, but we haven't really used our office in months. How come your lord, Sam and Mac, hasn't fixed the city's broken down payphones? He's phasing in brand new communications technology. A vast network of vacuum tubes? Nope. Messenger slaves, crawling through a vast network of vacuum tubes. I'm not going back in there without some holy water and a copy of Wired to protect me. I have something very important for the Pharaoh. Can you let me through? Hmm, let me consider this. My answer is no! Looks like Skunk Ape's working out a lot of unresolved issues on those mole men. It's cheaper than therapy and almost as funny! So when this is all over, I get my body back, right? Your clothes may not survive the reality-altering process. And your list of favorite songs and television programs will remain the same, but sorted into alphabetical order. Damn, Sam and Mac. Still, it's a small price to pay. Casual gaming in your head again. Well, excuse me for being able to multitask. Broking and buzzing impotently, just like she left my heart. I just can't resist those fudgy freezers. Cats. I hate those guys. Hey, Max, take a look. The clones are changing all the DeSoto's presets to public radio. No! Are you going to take another shot at summoning Dr. Mama Bosco? 
Actually, sirs, I was thinking of leaving it to someone who specializes in weirdness. Larry King is here? I think he was talking about us. Oh. I knew it! It's a miracle! I knew it! It's a miracle! I guess we won't be hitting the road today. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all these Sam clones running around, would you? Oh, yeah. Holy Mother of God! I think that's a no. I could do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. One, one, two, one, one, two! The heck with it! Two! You hear that? Two! Go on and feel good to finally say it! Two! 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 Please! Ah, oh, that'd be silly! I'm afraid the contents of my mind are classified, sirs. Well, that was odd. Meet me at the place. No, the other place. It's an evil coffee mug filled with evil hot tea. I'm surprised our bad guy left it up there. Every time I try to eat around my computer, I end up shorting something out and wiring money to Albania. Still sticking with that story, huh? You know, if Harry really thinks that musty old picture of Uncle Morty is gonna cough up secrets from beyond the grave, he's an even bigger dummy than the guys who are trying to make it happen! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Trying to read my slave's mind? How rude. Ow! Zero, 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 one. Hmm, this must be where the first clone came out. Unless our mastermind counts backwards, or in base I, or is dyslexic. Badgers? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam! Give me some of your sweet, sweet loving! I'm ignoring you! I gotta admit, those Sam clones are damn foxy. If only I had a body again. Ow! TM freaking I! <laughs> Whoa! And I'm back. If we ever want to find that Chthonic Destroyer in the Illuminated Manuscript, we'd better start figuring out what these dials do. <laughs> Whoa! Those monks sure knew how to illuminate a manuscript. Badgers! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The next time you zap yourself with that dimensional destabilizer, I hope it takes you someplace that makes your mind buzz with bugs. July I V M D C C X. What is this Canadian? If that 
website about the Freemasons was accurate, that doorway opens onto a complex series of dumbwaiters that leads to the torch. If you're too puny to get up here yourself, maybe you should ask your brain-addled partner to help. The nerve of that jerk Charlie trying to force Sam to usher in an epoch of mayhem and destruction! That's my job! Yeah, she's pretty, but I have a standing rule against dating anyone who can use me to dig boogers out of their nose. and girls, this is your old pal, Charlie Hotep, temporarily taking possession of Lady Liberty to remind you to register to vote. Remember, kids, if you don't vote, you can't write. Funny stuff, kid, but I'm an anarchist. Only one thing can destroy items from the Dark Dimension. I am at your service, Sam. Hiya, Mr. Featherly. Want to join the team and help us save Max? Unfortunately, I must decline. Union rules, you know. Can't perform inside any theater smaller than 500 seats or any creature larger than 10 stores. And for obvious reasons, I am averse to being eaten. If we could disguise the DeSoto, we could use it as a Trojan horse to sneak into Max's body like a virus and take out any mind worms or whatever it is that's causing this whole thing. Please don't mention Trojan horses, worms, or viruses around us. Let me see. The Upper West Side, Midtown, and the Village are all reporting extensive damage. And uh-oh, insiders say Greg and Fred are headed for a divorce. What about the children? How do you guys keep that flame going so long anyway? We are fueled by the inextinguishable flame of human imagination! And kerosene. I don't see any kerosene. Where's the supply line? That's none of your damn... Uh-uh. Nobody steals my little buddy's catchphrase. Looks like this vent goes directly to Max's nose, so he can smell food while he's digesting it. Biology is disgustingly fascinating. Senseless vandalism has its place, but this isn't it. Max has got some nerve. Ooh, I want to play. Wait your turn, fake Max. It's time to watch a master at work. Blue pistols, brass knuckles, black bombs, green bullets, orange flails, and pink bacon slices. All part of a nutritious breakfast. Yeah, you're okay at Axon, I guess, but I would destroy you at Dark Alley Fighter Extreme. There's no move I can't counter with the exact opposite. The sparring dummy inside Max is in a lot better shape than the one on the outside. He has already ripped out the intestines, though. That's awful cute. Ah, oh, I remember that old bucket of fish. Ah, things were so much simpler back then. That old game is from when we were going through our self-conscious, edgy, politically incorrect phase. Yeah, when did that stop, anyway? I'll let you know as soon as it does. Hey, I remember those cases with the thing and that other thing with the stuff. Yeah, don't sweat it, Sam. We don't remember any of that stuff either. Max got me that set of mariachi frogs for my birthday. This must be where Max stores all the nutritious food that enters his gaping maw before he digests it. I wonder if I should open it. He's still got a bottle of milk he drank in 1976. That answers that question. Hey, that was uncalled for. Apologies, Sam. My tentacles slipped off the controls for a moment. Oh, Max's snot got all over my inventory. 
and lots of other unmentionable personal areas. 